good morning. Uh, my throat's a little worse than it was yesterday. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, which means it is almost time for Dewey's 24-hour uh, readathon. And I thought I might vlog it. I don't know how this is going to go, because I don't know if I'll remember to do this throughout the day. But hopefully I will, because I, I want to try and also do this for a bout of books uh, in the beginning of May. So, uh, I have a bunch of stuff here to keep me company. First of all, I have my Harry Potter pillows and my Knight's Radiant poster. They're here for me. Then I have tea, water, these books are books that I haven't continued yet. And then I have Wood's Radiance here. Ignore the yarn in the background. And then this is basically my stack TBR. So I think I'm going to start with Vinti Home. Focus. Okay. I think I'm going to start with this one just because I know I'm going to like it. And also I know it's going to be a fast read. So that is the beginning of my read. I'll show you. It's so hard to talk when you have a cold sometimes. Um, yep, and it is two minutes to start time. And yes, that is the night's radiance also on my phone. One minute to start time now, so we'll talk to you in a little while. It is now 9.30, and I have finished Binti Home by Nettie Okorafor, which was so good. If you haven't checked out this series, you really should. They're really good. They're really weird, but they're really good. And then I scrolled social media a little bit, you know, liking and commenting on stuff. I'll do blogs when I update my blog post later. Um, I think I'm going to read some comics between now and noon, and then I'll break update posts, probably eat something. And I will update you again then. Okay, I hope you're in focus because I can't currently see if it's in focus or not, but, uh... It's almost 11 and I just finished reading Lumberjanes Volume 6 and Giant Days Volume 4, which were both a lot of fun. I like, I cannot get enough of this comic. I hope it never ends. And then this one is just so much fun. It's just silly fun. Um, I think next I am going to read The God Engines by John Scalzi, but I might take a break because my eyes are feeling a little, a little iffy. But uh, this is just a dust jacket because <laughs> I'm going to read it. But uh, I'm like 30 pages in because I started it a little while ago and then never continued it. So I want to try and finish it today. I think I have like 100 pages left. I'm only like a little bit into it. So we'll see how that goes. And then after that, I have no idea what the plans are. So read with them. I forgot to add that so far I have read for 2 hours and 16 minutes and this uh, <laughs> equates to 286 pages because I thought it would be interesting to update like I do in my blog to see when exactly I updated this. So I think I'm going to make some tea and read some comments and comment on some blogs and probably YouTube videos and hang out on Twitter <laughs> and probably eat something so maybe you'll get to see the snacks that I bought so. so I just finished writing my first update for the first four hours I just injection volume one which looks like this and injection volume two if you haven't checked out the series it's just it's completely crazy and it is so good and I cannot wait until there is more of it. It's by Warren Ellis who writes just such so much crazy good stuff. I haven't liked, I don't think I've liked completely everything he's written but like a good amount of it is really good. I haven't read volume two of Trees but volume one is amazing and just Injection is just so good. It's just so weird like anyway. So I think I'm going to take a small break again and comment on a bunch of social media stuff because that's one of my favorite parts of this readathon and then get to the god engines because I haven't gotten to that yet because <laughs> I got distracted by some more graphic novels. Uh, so my page count is officially at 506 pages. I have been reading for 2 hours and 45 minutes, uh, 3 hours and 16 technically with both issues counted. 
Um, yeah, I'm just keeping track. I'm just keeping track in this notebook with my super messy handwriting. Focus on the words. Is that, that's not in focus. Okay, anyway, this is how I'm keeping track. Super, super high tech way of keeping track of what I've been reading. I ate lunch earlier, but I'm starting to get like snacky hungry. So I have a few things. Um, first off, pretzels which I had before the readathon and are almost gone now because I have started eating them again. Uh, and then I have like a small thing of Doritos, which we can put down there now. Uh, a little thing of Cheez-Its so that I eat them only during the readathon because they are addicting. Uh, this is for later when I start getting tired because I don't do caffeine, so chocolate is the way to go. And then some Oreos, some mint Oreos, because they are delicious. So those are what I'll be snacking on for the next few hours, <laughs> hopefully. I do not eat all of it, but I might, and I guess that's okay, because it's Rita Fun Day. It's a, it's a holiday, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start this, The God Engines by John Scalzi, and then I might read something on my Kindle, I don't know. So I've now finished The God Engines by John Scalzi, which was fine. I think I just expect, I don't know, I just loved Old Man's War and Red Shirt so much. And then this was like, it wasn't bad. I gave it like three stars, 3.5 stars. But it just, I don't know. I think just because it's so short, you don't really get to know any of the characters. So like, you don't really care. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm going to move on to reading something off my kitchen, and then I'll have a snack, because I'm hungry, and eating those while reading an actual book sounds like a way to stay in my book. So, I'm gonna do it while I read from my- and oh, while we're here, uh, 730 pages, I think, and where's my phone? Four hours and six minutes is how long I've been reading. Well, how long I have read in. It's now almost two o'clock. So, going to keep reading. Snacks. Check in soon. So, it is now like 6 30. So, it's been a little while. And I took a nap and I slept longer than I meant to. Um, but now I'm awake again, so I'm going to eat something for dinner uh, and then start reading. But I don't know what I'm going to start reading. Um, something. I'm going to start reading something. We will see what happens. I'm currently having a problem. I have finished eating, but I don't know what to read. Like, I'm not in the mood for The Upside of Unrequited, even though I really want to read it. I'm like not in the mood for it. And I have like Every Hundred Doorway and We Are Okay. I'm not really in the mood for either of those. Either. I think We Are Okay is gonna be really sad, which is fine, but like, I don't know if that's good for a readathon. Then I also have this romance book, which I guess would be good because it's super short. And I know I'm gonna like it. Like it'll be fun because I like Tiffany Riots as an author, but I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Maybe like mm, I might end up reading that was a weird angle. I might end up reading some from Words Radiance or I might just finish off the graphic novels I have here and maybe pick some more up from my shelves over there. I haven't been reading a lot, like, in the grand scheme of life. It's not that surprising that I'm kind of struggling with continuing to- Something will be read at some point. Hopefully. As the day goes on, my hair gets progressively more messy, which is not surprising to anyone. Somehow I look more pale now that the sun has set, but uh, it is now- uh, just past nine and I have finished uh, One Hot December by Tiffany Reyes, which is an awful cover, by the way, but I love her other, her original Cinder series. The humor in it is fantastic. So now that I have finished that, I'm still not really in the mood for any of those books for some reason. So I picked like two things off my shelf that are short. On the Park by Mariah Fredericks. I mean, Forest of Memory uh, by Mar Mary Robinette Kowal, which I have had very heard very good things about. Apparently it's very strange and it's less than 100 pages. It's been a day so far. 
I think the last time we talked, I told you I had finished the Tiffany Ryan's book. Now I finished Forest of Memory by Mary Robinette Kowal, which was very good. Very strange, but very good. And not even 100 pages. And then I tried to read The Girl in the Park, but it was just like, I couldn't do it. And now I have deviated from my TBR. Obviously those were not on my TBR. And I'm just kind of staring at my bookshelves. Like, I mean, this is mostly red, but there's unread down there and just piles of books. Just piles of them. And then there's more over here. Ignore the fact that I have pillows and blankets stacked, but yes. Just staring, and there's more behind me. There's a lot of books I could be reading. But I think my brain's done for the day. I don't know if I can read anymore. So we're gonna take a break, a longer break. Eat something that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, or it's at least moderately healthy. And see if I want to keep reading after that. So this may be my last like official update. I'll probably tack on at the end like my final thoughts, but I'll probably film that in the morning. Uh, either way, I'll talk to you one more time. It is now the next day. Um, I did not end up reading. I don't think anymore from the last time I talked to you. So I'm gonna go quickly over the books and the graphic novels I read and then tell you my final like stats for like page count, time read and everything. So, One Hot December by Tiffany Reyes. Binti Home by Nettie Okorfor. Just a Memory by Mary Robinette Co God Engines by John Scalzi. And then Injections Volume 1 and 2 by Warren Ellis. Lumberjanes Volume 6 and Giant Days Volume 4 and also I started The Girl in the Park by Mariah Fredericks and Dean it. so that is all the stuff I read oh plus uh, Second Kiss by I don't remember the author's name but it was on my Kindle uh, and it was only like 60 pages I think so all of that together was eight hours and 12 minutes of reading and also I'll link my like wrap-up blog post down below where it's all typed out and stuff um, but eight hours 12 minutes of reading uh, 1200 pages exactly which I don't think I could have planned so I'm kind of amused that it's pretty exact and then I finished nine things in DNF one so I feel pretty good about that I only read eight hours out of 24, and I feel like I could have done better on that, but I also spent a lot of the time I was awake, like, scrolling through social media and commenting on people's, like, Instagrams and trying to comment on blogs and that kind of thing, so, and that is what I want to do, like, I like doing during these readathons because it's fun to interact with everyone, so, um, I feel pretty okay with what I did. I haven't been reading a lot recently, which is... Also, I haven't been vlogging or doing this a lot, but I would like to get back into it as I get back into reading again, because I feel like it keeps me, it helps me keep reading, um, helps me make time to read, that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, so another Dewey's Readathon down. I honestly, I think it was my seventh Dewey's short and sweet, and the day goes by so fast, it's so ridiculous how quickly it's like, oh, it's 9 p.m., but um, it's so great. And the beginning of May, May 8th, starts Bout of Books 19, round 19, so I'm very excited about that. I've participated in, like, more than double digits. I think it's this will be my 14th or 15th Bout of Books. It's possibly my favorite readathon, but Dewey's and Bout of Books are pretty, pretty tied. I also like 24 and 48. I just like readathons. Readathons are just really great. That's all I have to share with you right now. This is the end of this readathon. If you have a Dewey's wrap up, either here or on a blog or whatever, please link it to the, in the comments for me to see. And I hope if you participated, you had a great readathon. If you didn't, I hope you had a great weekend. And it's May now, so hopefully it will stay warm. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Happy reading!